Never up, never down, never like a theme in a song. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another style video. As you can see, I am not in my apartment in New York right now. I am um, in my hometown in Texas for the holidays. So, um, it's nice to be here. I love coming here and shooting videos because there are so many cool little hidden places to shoot as you'll see in, in the lookbook portion of this video. It's got some really cool places to shoot. But um, today I am partnering up with The Real Real to show you guys this video. I got a new bag that I cannot wait to show you. For those of you who don't know, The Real Real is a luxury consignment website as well as an app and they also have a standalone store in New York City which I have been to and I love. So if you are in New York, um, that is a great consignment place to go shop at. They have items up to 90% off of the retail price anywhere from Chanel, uh, Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga. So a huge variety of things to check out. Trust me, you will spend a very long time on their site. If you actually want to consign your items, there are two ways to do it. You can either ship your item directly to them or I have a ton of friends who use their white glove service where they have a luxury manager come directly to your house um, and pick up your items for you to consign, which is really nice. Before we get started with the lookbook portion of this video, I do want to give you, I think I have like five or six tips for shopping online consignment that I just kind of want to share with you that might make your um, your shopping trip a little bit easier. Number one is check the condition. You don't want to be surprised when you get your bag or your shoes or your clothing item and it's just not in good condition and you're like, but it was such a good price. Check the condition. You know, they do have you know, things on there that are in great pristine condition, but then there are, you know, things that have little scratches on them because they are pre-loved. It's final sale usually in most consignment shops. I don't know a consignment shop that you can actually return things, so you just want to make sure that you are paying attention to the condition of the item that you're buying. You don't want any surprises. Number two is to know what you need. Um, one of the things I love about, for example, the Real Real is that they have, I mean, I can't even tell you how many items they have on their site and I could spend a whole week trying to find something and I found myself looking up black bags with gold hardware and I have three or four really great black bags with gold hardware that I don't need so I was like what do I need? I need a brown chocolate colored bag. So that's what I did. I started searching for brown bags. That way my search narrowed down. I didn't have so much to go through. I didn't have too many choices. And it was kind of something that I was in need for and that I was looking for. So you don't want to overwhelm yourself because then you might end up picking something that you already have a ton of, or you might just end up panicking and picking something that you don't actually love. Number three, when you are shopping consignment, or vintage, you wanna make sure that you are shopping somewhere that is certified. Don't be scammed by, you know, a random website that's selling Chanel or any other designer at a super low cost and it not be real. Um, one of the things I love about the Real Real is that I know I can trust that each item is authenticated um, because they have this whole entire process that they authenticate each and every item. So I know that what I'm getting is the real thing and I'm not wasting my money on something that's a fake. Number four is to know your measurements. This is really helpful because so many designers just run so differently. For example, I know if I go and shop at Zara, I'm always an extra small or I'm a zero or I'm a 24 in jeans always. But when I'm shopping consignment, you know, in this designer, I might be a zero in this designer. I might be a four or a six. So you want to make sure that you know your measurements. That way you can look down at the measurements and say, okay, this is going to fit me or this is not going to work. Um, because again, most online consignment shops, you cannot return everything as final sale, so you just wanna make sure that it's right. Five is whenever I start shopping consignment, whether I'm looking for shoes, bags, whatever, I always sort by new because you never know, they might have posted something amazing that's a one of a kind and they just posted it and you might be the first one to see. Um, so make sure that you sort by new just to see kind of what's um, new because you know, once it's gone, it's gone. It could be a one of a kind, it could be something that is sold out everywhere but someone's consigning it and it'll probably get swept up fast. So I like to see what's new and then I actually like to see what's old because usually the older things are going to be on sale and who knows there might be a bag that no one loves but you know for some reason you're just drawn to it and you feel something about it and you love it so um and then I'll kind of work my way backwards that was like a me tip that was a tip for myself I don't know if you guys would want to do that but um it's pretty helpful for me number six is to sign up for email promotions and 
follow them on Instagram. I have a special email just for stores. So whenever I am ready to go shop, I can just log into that email and I can search by the store and see what promotions um, they have going on. I never give stores like my work email or my personal email. I literally have an online shopping email only. That way I'm not getting flooded or tempted to buy something I might not need or if there's a sale and I'm like, but I have to buy something because there's a sale, I don't even know about it. And sometimes they only send things out via email. Sometimes you're, it's like a VIP list and it's not open to the public on their site, only you have a code in your inbox. So definitely sign up for their email list. So before I get into the lookbook portion, I wanna show you guys what I got. Really excited about it, but I got this brown Chanel bag and it's beautiful. I do not own a brown, like a chocolate, rich chocolate brown bag. I just grab my black bag for everything, but I do wear so many neutrals and grays and blacks and I just think brown is just as much of a neutral as um, black or gray is. So I was really excited to find this and it has a short strap, which I love. Um, it has, I think this is like a 15 inch strap, basic quilted flap what we got here. It's pretty big inside, lots of room for phone keys. Um, but yeah, and you can wear a crossbody if you want and it's short, which is what I like too. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was perfect size for me and as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's it, that's the one, I have to have this. Now that I showed you my bag, I actually styled it three ways for you guys. I, um, you know, was just really excited to have it and I wanted to style it in different ways and just play with some colors and textures. So I threw together a three outfit lookbook for you and it, hopefully it'll give you some good inspo for um, fall, winter. So go ahead and get into that. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool But if I fall, I will get up again But I get high, I get low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping that Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool wrap up this video now. I hope you guys love the lookbook and I hope you love my new bag and if you are looking, there were like three that I was trying to choose from that were this chocolate brown color that hopefully are probably still on the site. I think you can actually get on a wait list for this bag if they get another one in. I'm pretty sure the Real Real does that where you can say added to wait list. Um, if that's the case, I'll put the link below so you can go sign up to be added. And I thank you to the Real Real for sponsoring this video. This was such a cool collaboration because um, I've been getting more into handbags recently, designer handbags, and I just, you know, buying consignment, it just makes so much sense. Um, I love buying brand new things, you know, from the store, but there's also something about something that has a story already and that's been loved and used and broken in. It's not super trendy, you know, not every other blogger, every other person is carrying this exact bag, so it's just kind of different and unique. I will put the link right here if you guys want to go shop on the Real Rail and see what they have. I'm just warning you though, you're going to be sucked in for a long time, but since it's holiday time, about to be weekend time, you can, um, you'll have plenty of time to look through it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.